Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my setup in my black Kate Spade zipper personal planner. I set this up for Valentine's Day. Now I know it is past Valentine's Day, but I still wanted to share this with you guys because I love the way this setup came out. I also like to have these things posted on my YouTube channel so that I can go back and reference them at later dates. So next year when I do my Valentine's spread, I can look back on this and see what I did for this year. So I definitely had to get this video up. Now I have a lot going on in this planner, but we're going to start with the left inside pocket. I'll show you a closer look and we'll go over everything that's inside the planner. Here's the left side of my pocket. So I'm gonna show you everything that's in them. The first thing is this crocheted bow. I love this crocheted bow. It's perfect little accent to add to your pockets. I'm gonna link that shop below. I also have this adorable penguin clip. This is from Black Heart Creations. Look at the shimmer paper that she used for the penguin's body. I absolutely love that. And look at the cute dual pink on the heart. I just adore this paper clip. It's the first time I ordered from her and I will be ordering more because I love the quality of this clip. Really cool and like I said I will link that below. I have some really cute Target page flags that were from the holiday time frame from Christmas. I thought the colors went really well with the setup so I included those. I have this star paper clip that's star sequins. I love this paper clip. These are my new obsession. You will see them in pretty much every setup that I post. I will link that shop below as well. I have a small little Two Little Bees sampler sheet in here. I got this at the Iowa meetup that I went to last month and it is adorable and it fits in the pockets just perfectly. I just kind of slide it down in there and I will be using those stickers because they are so cute. I have a Project Life card that I uh, trimmed down and rounded the corners on that say pretty. I just thought that was so pretty <laughs> and wanted to include it in the pockets. And then I have this cute little bee paper clip. I'm obsessed with this little bee. This one here was a custom order that I made from rhinestones and diamonds. I will link that shop below. I just love it because the bee's face is pink and look at her sparkly little cheeks and the sparkly tail and the little heart hearts. That's so cute. I love it. So I just keep it tucked right here on the right so that you can read the word pretty. I have another paper clip here that's from Lovely Little Planners. Really cute bear that I wanted to include as well. Look at the sparkle on the heart. I love that. So I just keep that tucked right here. So if I take a picture, I can just pull it out. And when I travel with my planner, which I do with this one, I just tuck it back in the pocket. This adorable heart-shaped uh, notepad is from the Planner Society. Now this was not from her regular monthly kit. She did an exclusive Valentine's Day kit that I ordered, and I'm so glad I ordered it. And this was in that. And look at how great the pink and black go with this specific Kate Spade. Totally love it. Okay, the next thing I have here is some stickers from Pop Fizz Paper. I'm obsessed with these stickers. They are the quotes from the Grease movie. Oh my god, I love them. Now I'm going to link this shop below and I also have a coupon code for you so you guys can check that out. And I also have a coupon code for Lovely Little Planner so I will include that below as well. So that's everything that's inside of my pockets. Now the only thing that I kind of change around is when I have my planner open for either taking photos. What I'll do is I'll just take this B and I'll kind of scoot it over to the side and I'll take the penguin and I'll pull it out just a little bit so this way when I take a picture you can see all my little faces peeking out of the side and I totally love that and then I can just tuck them back in after I take the picture and like I said when I travel with the planner and then it's no problem to be able to close it and zip it up okay we're gonna move to the right side of the planner which is my dashboard this dashboard is from the planner society the paper that I used I'm absolutely obsessed with it because the reverse side is the match to this notepad. And again, it was from the Valentine's Day exclusive kit. 
also with the card that I used for the front of the dashboard and I love it because it says Valentine's Day and this little girl is so pretty and I just love the details on this paper and the color and the washi tape is also from that same Planner Society cake for Valentine's Day. I totally love that and I thought it made the perfect dashboard. So I'm going to flip this open. I just I adore this pattern. It just drives me crazy. Now here are my my, um, inserts. All the inserts that I'm going to be showing you are from So Much Crafting. I'll link that below. This is a year at a glance. Really like having that there. And this is the monthly pages. You get two pages that represent your full month. I absolutely love having these in my planner. They're really convenient. Basically what I do is whatever main item I have to do for that day, that's what I put on this planner. Or if I'm traveling at any point, and I'm flying somewhere or I'm going away for the weekend. I love these arrows that are included. These are decorated with kits that are created from Planning Made Perfect. I will link her below and I have a coupon code for her as well. And I love these kits. They're specifically made to decorate the So Much Crafting personal size monthly spread. And she also has them for A5, for So Much Crafting A5, for Erin Condren, for whatever size your planner is, she has a kit that will work for it. So I really love that. And here I've decorated for February. I have not filled it out yet, but I just love that. Look how cute the hearts are. I love that the kit comes with payday stickers and it comes with bill due. I love that it comes with these boxes that cover up your blank boxes if you choose to. It has just a lot of fun stickers. It has stickers to mark your holidays because the So Much Crafting monthly inserts do not have the holidays marked off. So I really like that. So those are super cool. I'm going to be doing March as well well. I just have not set it up yet, but I do have the kit. Then the next insert I have from So Much Crafting is this pull-out calendar. I am very behind with getting this updated, but I have a plan. I'm having surgery next week, and I'm going to be in bed for several weeks to start with, and this is going to be one of my projects that I create. So if you follow along on my Instagram channel, you will see updates on this. I will do my best to show you guys updates and pictures of it. So that is awesome because it folds up and it's easily tucked away. And then my first paper clip here is one of my favorites. It's from Sticky Wicket Designs. Oh my God, I love it. It says, I love you. And I love this gold glitter paper here. Now, if you can see the actual pink has a little sparkle to it. That was not included. I just took my Wink of Stella pen and I went over the plain cardstock of the pink and gave it a little bit of of extra shimmer. I do that to some of my clips and you can see it there in the light. I love that. It's a really simple way to make your clips a little bit more sparkly and you know we can all use extra sparkle. This is my first divider which is my weak divider. I'm going to flip this and I'm going to actually turn this paper clip around so that when my planner is open you can actually see that paper clip. Now you guys are going to think I'm absolutely crazy and I am a little so it makes sense. I have all of my weekly spreads dating back to November 23rd of 2015 in here. And I know that seems excessive because as you can see, it's very thick and it takes up a lot of room, but I love having my past weeks in my planner. There's several reasons. The first thing is they're just so adorable. I love to be able to come in to my planner and flip through them. It really brightens my day to just go through these. They make me smile. There's so much fun stuff to look at. They also help inspire me when I come to a point when I'm decorating a week and I run into a little bit of a rut and I'm not sure what to do. Sometimes looking back on these old pages helps me get through that. 
I also like to be able to go back and see old appointments that I had when they were or events when they occurred. So I like to have them in there for that. And I also like that if I have my planner out with me and somebody wants to see it, I think it's really cool that I can go back and show them past weeks that I created, just like I'm doing for you guys here. I'm flipping through and you guys can see each of my weeks. I can do that for somebody that picks up my planner and wants to look through it. This is the week I flew out to New York for my uh, uncle's funeral. Um, I just wanted to do something without having to leave it blank. And then here I use my peach palm to mark the page of the journaling I did for him. And I really love using these peach palm felt clips. Look at how adorable. This was a limited edition heart shape one she did for Valentine's Day. I absolutely adore it. And I use it to mark pages that I want to flip back to very quickly. Like for instance, my uncle's page that has a lot of things on it that I like to go back and read and look at. And now I can easily flip to them by just using this as a marker. Now I thought I saw on her Instagram page that she's going to be creating green ones for St. Patrick's Day. And I really, really hope so because I would definitely be wondering if that was this here was my spread the week before Valentine's Day and it was from Odd Loop. Really love these. And this is my current week, which is Valentine's Day week. These stickers are so adorable. I just love them. And I will show you the kit that they were from. They're from Planner Us, and I will link that shop below. It's one of my favorite shops. I love these stickers. They were so cute with the Valentine's Day theme and the cow theme. And look, I have so many stickers left. I can definitely do another spread with these because I have plenty of headers. I have definitely enough full boxes and decorative stickers, so I can definitely use the kit for another week. I'll show you a close-up of all the stickers that I decorated for Valentine's week in just a moment. I'm just going to show you some of the other items that I have in the planner. Okay, I have this really cute cow clip from Rhinestones and Diamonds again, and I love it because it goes perfectly with the cow theme that was in this set, and I love this cow washi. I will link the shop below where the cow washi came from. I had a lot of questions on that. And then I have this cute little kitty cat holding a flowers, and you guys know I'm a cat freak. I have four of them, so when I saw this clip, I just had to have it. This is from Scrappy Drew Designs and I'll link that below as well. And I also have this pink bear from Scrappy Drew Designs. Really super cute. I love it. So I just didn't want to leave her out. I keep her tucked in that back corner and you can still kind of see her around the corner. <laughs> I have my hot pink fluff uh, designer pen gem. This was limited edition and it's no longer available, but I absolutely love this pen. The pink sparkles are gorgeous and it matches the interior of the Kate Spade perfectly and I just keep it on the side of my planner right there. And I have a tassel from Hot Pink Fluff and I have a Valentine's Day charm from Peach Palms. I really love these two together. I thought they made a really great combination. Okay, I'm going to show you closer up of these stickers here that I did for Valentine's Day week. This one is super cute. It says you're utterly amazing. Here is one of the grease stickers from Pop Fizz Paper. Grease is the word. I love that. And this washi tape here was from the Valentine's Day Planner Society kit. Here is another grease one. She looks too pure to be pink. I love that. So I'll just kind of scan through these. I love this kitty cat. I love the cows. They are just so cute. This little sock sticker, I love that. That's from Sticko. I got that at Michael's. So this was Monday through Wednesday of Valentine's Day week. Here are just my CrossFit stickers. I'm not really doing full CrossFit. I'm doing strength and mobility because I have a problem with my foot that I'm having operated on next week. But strength and mobility at CrossFit has really helped me out a lot with the pain and managing it and being able to walk more than I was 
when it originally occurred. And then here are just some more stickers. This one's from Planner Us as well, the grocery shopping one. I love that. And just some things my husband and I did. We went out to dinner. Um, I had to order insulin for Pookie because I have a cat with diabetes. Um, chiropractor appointment, that's also helped my foot a great deal until I can have surgery. I loved the weekend sticker, how it alternated all the different colors. So I absolutely was in love with this kit. Here's another one of the Pot Fizz Paper Grease stickers. Tell me about it, stud. I thought that was so cute to put on for Valentine's Day. And I love the cow holding the little heart. Really, really adorable. So I was in love with the spread this week, and that's why I wanted to film this to share it with you guys. Now, if you have any questions on any of the stickers that I did not mention, just leave it in the comments below, guys. I love to hear your comments. I have no problem with that. Here is next week. I have not started it yet. I will be shortly. I haven't decided if I'm going to stay with the Valentine's Day theme or if I'm going to move on yet. I might just do something really random until March 1st. I won't be uh, decorating for St. Patrick's Day until March 1st. I just feel like I need that little break in between holidays. The other uh, tabs that I have in this planner are my to-do tab and I love this cheetah print with the gold foil. I mean, this is just so pretty. This paper here I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I have my menu tab here, also with the gold foil. I have my um, mail tab, which is all my pen pal information. Now, I have this miscellaneous tab back here, and I wanted to show this to you. Look how cute these personal size sticker kits are. I love them. They are from Planning Made Perfect. Again, I will link that shop below and I have a coupon code for you. The colors on this are so gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them. They are made for pretty much any personal sized uh, paper or inserts that you have. They will work with them. And I just love them. The colors are so bright and the stickers are so functional, like appointment, payday, pay bills, don't forget, call, clean, buy, to do. I mean, it's everything that you need in a weekly kit. I love the teardrops and the open boxes, the weekend banner, really, really cute. These are no spend stickers that I really need to start using. <laughs> but haven't. I love the mini teardrops. Look at these colors. They are so bright and awesome. I can't wait to use them. And these boxes here. So I really love them. And then I have my last hat that's just marked miscellaneous. And I love this pattern so much. So I'm going to show you how I close up this planner. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. A lot of people feel with the Kate Spades that they're too small and there's not enough room for everything. And obviously, as you can see, I have this pack. If I count my paper clips, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten paper clips in here. I have two tassels. I have several months of old weekly spreads. I have a lot of extra information in there as well. I have a pen. To me, I think it's the perfect size. It fits me like a glove. I totally love the personal size. So I'm gonna show you how I close it up so when I travel with it, I grab both sides like this and I meet them in the middle. And as you can see, this thing is really, really chunky. I pull up this side pocket here and then this here, as you can see, there is nothing that's loose in these side pockets. I make sure they're nice and stuffed tightly. So this way, when I travel with this thing, there is nothing flying out of it. So I just bring that side up to meet in the middle. I grab my zipper. I pull it in, I just have to tuck that pen in sometimes, and I always leave the top of it empty because, um, or I'm sorry, open, because I don't, I wanna be able to see my clips on the top. Now, when I do close it, the one thing I do do, and it's not a problem for me, because I don't mind doing it, is I make sure all my clips are facing the same direction. When I have the pages open, I will do it differently. And I just make sure everything's tucked in. I just have to push that pen in sometimes. And I leave all the clips 
peeking out the top. I love that. It looks so cute. My tassels hang nicely on the side. And when I put this in my tote bag, I slide it down into my tote bag. And as you can see, this thing is packed solid. And I don't know, I see a little give in there. I can definitely put more in there. I pack my Kate Spades to the brim and I like doing that. And this is so portable. I can toss this in my bag and I don't have any problems with anything falling out. These clips are all secure. Everything on the side is secure. I can toss it in my bag and just go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please definitely leave any questions or comments you have below. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I did. It was awesome. It always is. Um, I'm just one of those people that loves Valentine's Day. I don't know. <laughs> and I know there's a lot of anti-Valentine's Day people out there, but I hope you still enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!